everybody. I'm Emily from Level Up Dice, and I am reaching out to everybody today to show you what my table looks like when I play Dungeons and Dragons. One question we get asked a lot at the booth is, do you guys actually play D&D? The truth is that a lot of us are huge D&D fanatics. A lot of us play tons of tabletop RPGs, board games, Magic the Gathering, all those kinds of things. Um, and I happen to have a lot of awesome people in my life that I get to play with on a pretty much weekly basis that either are work with Level Up Dice or I've met through Level Up Dice. And we all have a lot of awesome stuff that we play with at our table, so I just wanted to give you a glimpse. Hi, I'm Anne. I am your friendly Level Up Dice Collector Goblin. Um, for today's Paladin on tap, I have a lovely pairing of <laughs> ionized, uh, ionized hematite uh, and ionized quartz. So I'll put some in my hand so you can really get, get the good of it. Ooh. Ooh. I love uh, for my paladin the fact that I have literal dark and lightness weighing on her decisions. Uh, and since she serves Taimora, I feel like rolling dice feels extra fate driven for her. Um, and ultimately, I have a lot at my tabletop altar here. I also have my beautiful adventurer's vault from Wormwood in spalted tamarind with a cherry rolling tray. And I also have my awesome mischief and misadventure notebook from the Rook and the Raven. This is a modular style notebook, so you can buy all of the different inserts and then organize your characters however you want, whether you're playing Dungeons and Dragons or in my case, I also play Starfinder. So I have a Starfinder insert for that character as well. Uh, I have a problem and I can stop anytime I want. But I won't. <laughs> and that's me. Next up, we have Dana. Hi, you may have seen me at the Level Up booth at any of the conventions, but for tonight, I am playing with some True Stone and then currently in the freezer, my stainless steel are cooling off so that I can put them in my drink once things get a little dicey. <laughs> That's for a D&D After Dark. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Thanks, Dana. Next, we have Jeremy. Jeremy, show us what you got. Um, I've got my OG sexy dice, which are the original raised obsidian in a lace wood wormwood vault. Then I have my sexy dice, which are my shadow mask, uh, obsidian, in a level of dice exclusive bloodwood, uh, hex vault. And then my super sexy dice are the limited edition 45th anniversary Wizards of the Coast Dungeons and Dragons Sapphire Aluminium set. You are the only person in the world with Sapphire dice set number 1,833. How does that make you feel? Uh, like I'm rolling the natural 20s. <laughs> Very nice, we should hire you. Next, we have Ariel. Hello. Hi, so what I'm rolling are just some really dope spoopy goth dice, also called our raised obsidian. These mm -hmm. are the OG original font in the Level Up Dice Halloween special dice Ooh, vault. What number did you get? 31, stay spoopy. Next up, we have the Dungeon Master, Chris. Mm -hmm. I've had to come behind the screen. This is a view I never get to see while we're playing, so. Yeah, so uh, tonight I'm using some of our flame-touched copper dice, flame-touched by the lovely Emily Floyd. You might mm -hmm. have heard of her. That's right. Yes. And then, of course, I have in one of our Wormwood vaults, I also have our Damascus steel. I like to use a nice heavy dice when I'm holding the fate of all the realms in my hands. So is that how you pick when you're Dungeon Master? Because like we don't get to see or really enjoy the dice. It's really all for mm -hmm. you. Since no one really gets to see them except for me, I like uh, something with a good, have to good hand feel. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Hey, hey, what? hey, Chris. Yeah. Please don't kill us tonight. I will. I, I, because I, Anne said something. I said you will. I, no, no, no. I will no. make no such promises. Please don't. So it is time to show you my collection. a lot of dice. I have acquired quite a few over time. So what I've had to do is kind of narrow it down when I play. I've actually got a D20 of um, all of my sets here, all in one collection. So I can pick a D20 I need depending on what's going on. Yes, I have five sets of Opalite. Your eyes do not deceive you. It is my 
favorite stone. Um, everyone calls me the opalite girl for a reason. I have an addiction. Um, but I also have some unikite and rose quartz and pink striped agate in here. Um, and then I keep the sets for the rest of the rolls I need in my beautiful obsession, my Gaia Wormwood <laughs> Master Vault. That being said, in here I've got one of my opalite sets, one of my rose quartz sets, and one of my pink striped agate sets. So I've got everything at the ready for when it's time to play. So I want to thank everybody for taking the time to check out my table with me. This legitimately is a group of friends we play every week. In case you're wondering, do we actually play D&D? And do we actually use these dice to play them? We definitely do. So some of the faces here you may have seen at our booth. Um, you'll see us around at future conventions as well. But in the meantime, why do we do all this? It's so that we can play games and tell stories together. So I'm going to go do that now. Thank you so much, Emily, for letting us sit in with your party today to learn about their dice sets. If you are interested in any of the dice that you have seen in this video, the links are down below. We'd also love to welcome you to Dice Versa, a platform which allows us to give you sneak peeks behind the scenes and bring you the stories from the world of Level Up Dice.